We have a God of miracles, signs and wonders, Archbishop. Yes, James. The Lord is doing awesome things through your hands. This lady came here, she was having pain all over her body. She had been experiencing pain in her stomach, severe pain. And when she came here, you, you lay hands on her, she fell under the anointing. And now she's telling me that there is no pain at all for six months. For how long have you been having this? For six months. What happened this evening? I'll be feeling pain in my stomach. And if I go to the toilet to urinate, mm. it's like my bottom of my stomach is falling down. Mm. And like sometimes in the night, I'll wake up, I'll have a breath, I won't be able to breathe. Mm. Like, like last night, I feel so breathless. I wake mm. up, I couldn't sleep for till about 5 a.m. in the morning. What happened today? And today, but before, sometime last week, I dream of you. I wake up one morning, I ask my sister because she has been coming here. Mm. I asked her, I said, do you know where um, Gilbadia Church is? Because I used to work DBN, mm -hmm. and I've seen miracles that are happening. Mm. I said, because I'm not feeling my body good. I'm feeling pains. I'm feeling, if I went to urinate, I'll feel like something is falling down for me. I mm. said, and I've dreamed about Gilbadia that he laid his hands on me, and I was healed. So I want to go to that church. And my mm. sister gave me the direction. So when you take um, bus P12, Mm. You come down by choice, I was opposite there. Mm. As I was coming this evening to find the church, I couldn't find the place. I walked all the way down around the other side. Mm. And I saw a gentleman in a bicycle. And he walked up to me and said, you have 20 pence that you can give to me. I said, um, let me check. So I checked my pocket. I took out a 10p and two five pence. Mm. I said, uh, can you show me where I get by their churches? He said, yes, let me show you. And you bring me all the way to this place. Now, what and when I came, when you laid your hands on me, mm. it's like an electric shock all over my body. Electric shock? Yes, all over my body was shaking. Was shaking? I yeah, I couldn't control myself. And what happened with the pain in the breast and pain in the leg? Everything is gone. It's, it's gone. Awesome. Come on, clap your hand, the pressure Lord. Baby, I'm healed. It is over. Look at that. Bring her here. It is, must be permanent. Look at that anointing. What anointing? Clap your hand, the pistol, Lord. Hallelujah. Said the world was created within seven days. The moon and the stars were all on up in place. He's the Alpha, Omega, the first and the last. It's amazing what God can do. Praise the Lord. This lady, she told me for the past one year, she got arthritis. Arthritis? Arthritis, at times she walked with a um, walking stick. She has been using walking stick. Walking stick. And this evening, when he laid hand on her, the whole of her body was cracking. Cracking? And the arthritis disappeared. Can you explain me how they crack? Yeah, I can feel it in my knees that like some bones are release, re, re, relieving me. It is cracked and you feel it. Feel it cracking. Then and I can feel my body start shaking in a way and I, the pain start going away. And then the pain gone. It's gone now. Check it again. Come on, check it again, man. Clap your hand, the the Lord. It is over. Look at that anointing. Look at that anointing. Clap your hand, the person. What anointing of the Holy Ghost? Listen to me. Arthritis is in the Kiwarebu. But there is power of electric here that set that human free. Bring her back. Bring her back. You will receive also your breakthrough. Look at that. Clap your hand, the pressure. Said the world was created within seven days. The moon and the stars were all on up in place. He's the Alpha, Omega, the first and the last. It's amazing what God can do. But Robert here said, um, 
there's something that has been going on in the family. Mm -hmm. All of them are suffering the same thing. That there's something walking inside their stomach. And he too has been suffering that thing for more than 15 years. Something walking in the stomach. Yes. And everybody in the family go through that. Everybody in the family go through that. Everybody. And he said this thing is tormenting him. And he said he's feeling the pain constantly. He said, but what happened? As soon as you minister to him, he's not feeling the pain. And I asked him to bend down, let him do what he could not do before. Can he do what he could not do? Try to do. Yes. Look at that. Do again. Again. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are you not tired? <laughs> Tell me how you feel yourself. Uh, Archbishop, at the moment, I'm feeling okay. Because for more than 15 years, this thing has been disturbing me. You come up to my chest, all, pe all the people in the family, I don't know what is that. And now because it's not there, do you believe now? Yeah, I believe it's God. Because it is not there now. No, it's not. There's no disturbing me now. And it, it has been there for 15 years. Yeah, for 15 years. So you are sure that you are in the right place. Yes. With the right Jesus. With the right miracle of Jesus. Listen. No one come in this platform that the sickness is healed. And be obedient that they start and take back the sickness. You are not going to see it again. Amen. Because today is a historical day of 15 years. Amen. For the testimony to your family, to the whole entire viewers of the program. The thing that is crawling on you will never crawl in your people. Amen. You will get olive oil a little bit. Shen to each one of them, when they drink a little bit part of it, the way it has gone from you, that it will go on. By Amen. my faith, God will set the whole entire family Amen. from that family's problem. Amen. Clap your hand, the praise the Lord. Said the world was created within seven days. The moon and the stars were all on up in place. He's the Alpha, Omega, the first and the last. It's amazing what God can do. Beautiful mother. Yeah, she could not, she had a partially blindness in her eye and she could not hold her urine. This my beautiful mother. Yeah, she was suffering from a she, cataract. She had cataract. The doctor said I have cataract. And what happened this evening? But I have a pain in my, in my tummy. That I don't feel it now again. You don't feel it anymore? No. I cannot keep up my urine. Mm. You could not keep your urine? No, no. That means she had a sickness of in, in, in continent. In continent. She, she's telling me that the eye is now free. She can see well and the pain is gone from the eye. And her urine, she couldn't be able to stand. She could not be able to stand because she could not hold her urine. Now she feels yeah. there is a, a feeling of holding urine now. Yeah. No, and the pain Mommy, is gone. come and give me a hug. That's wonderful. Give me a hug. Give me a hug as a mother. May the Lord keep you whole all the days of your life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Bless you, man. Said the world was created within seven days. The moon and the stars were all on up in place. He's the Alpha, Omega, the first and the last. It's amazing what God can do. This young lady has been hearing voices. And even when she was here in church, she could, she could hear them. 
But when you touch her and she was having panic, you know, fear and panic. But now she told me, since you touch her, she cannot hear the voices and the fear is gone. Tell me what has happened. Um, it's like a lice, like a warm lice. Yes. And there's peace now, more calm. It's like yes. something unclean has left me. Praise the Lord. You used to hear voices. Yeah, like voices torment me. And it's gone. Yeah. Are you happy it is gone? Yeah, happy, but really calm now. Very calm now. Father, I thank you for making her. Thank you, Jesus. Congratulations. That the world was created within seven days The moon and the stars were all on up in place He's the Alpha, Omega, the first and the last It's amazing what God can do Bishop, this miracle happened on, on, on the live program on Tuesday There was also a lady here had the same problem the her miracle happened on live program on Tuesday this week. Yes. What miracle it is? You were on, t on um, TV program and the after you begin to pray. This lady for the past 10 years, after giving birth to her two children, things were crawling in her stomach for the past 10 years. Let me transfer the Igbo accent <laughs> to my accent. <laughs> she has given birth to her two children. Yeah, twin. twins. Twins? Yeah, and they are 10 years now. It is Jacob and Eshaw. <laughs> the, here are, come on guys. Uh -huh. This they are not, these are the twins. Yeah, these are the twins. The beautiful, the handsome. After you give birth to these two preachers, Amen. things begin to crawl in her stomach. Things are crawling in her stomach. For the past 10 years. For the past? 10 years. 10 good yes. years. Yes. After giving birth of these two twins. What has happened, mommy, tonight? So, on the live program, when you, when you begin oh, to pray. On live program on Tuesday. Yeah, when, when you begin to pray. No, the one you did in the night alone. When she began to pray, she also was praying. When I was in a live program, yes. What time was it? Because I have live three, uh, three live. What is in the night? That was at the night when there was a lady who was talking about um, her marriage after she said she has started to have problems after she was on a marriage, mm. and um, she. There were two. One I talked about um, in her country, they bury someone and they chop the head. Mm. Then I kept on listening to that. And then after when they're finished, I said some of the things which they're saying, they're just similar to the situation which I am. Mm. So tonight, I just want to give my heart to God and say whatever is in me, whatever is in my stomach, tonight it will go. So that one you are speaking, when you are hearing what they were saying they were going through, yes. and you made a decision, yes. like the woman was bleeding blood for 12 years, and you say, because this man of God is on television, but tonight everything which is in my stomach must go, and you are in your own house. But yeah. to me, I was in the studio. And before that, after, after that prayer, she dreamt snake came out of her stomach. After the prayer? Yes. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. Um, after those two ladies, Archbishop, you prayed. You I said, mm. you said, um, everywhere, all over the world, whoever is going through to the situation of which these people are going through, tummy eggs, whatever generational cases, you mentioned a lot of things. So myself, I grabbed tummy egg. Mm. And you said, kneel down and mm. lift up your hands up. Mm. I said to the boys they were in, I said, go out. 
because they were making noise. Mm. So I shut the door, I mm. kneeled down, mm. and I closed my eyes. But you said, wherever you are, don't close your eyes. Mm. It's me who's praying, I will close my eyes. Mm. You look at me. Mm. So I looked at you. Mm. You prayed and prayed. Mm. And you said, you made a short prayer. Mm. And you said, in Jesus' name, mm. I receive it. And I said, I receive it. Mm. You said seven times. Mm. I received it seven times. Mm. After that, that was over. And I kept on singing. Mm. While is your prayer is finished. I sang the song which says, Jesus never fails. Mm. Oh, that my song. On television. Eh? I sang that song until I went to bed. I switched mm. off the light. My husband was, he's here anyway. He was sleeping. He's here. Yeah, there is him. Mm -hmm. So you were sleeping. I went in the bedroom. But still something tells me to sing, even if I'm going to bed. Mm. So I take a chewing gum. And that was around 11 o'clock. I put the chewing gum in my mouth. I kept on singing inside me because I didn't want to make noise. To wake people. To so, wake your husband. Yes. Mm. So I kept on singing until I fall asleep. In the middle of the night, mm. I dream. Mm. A strange dream. A strange one. That was very strange. Even if I'm talking now, I can see mm. what came out from my tummy. And uh, I just dream. My something was just like pulling, trying to come out from my stomach. In dream? In the dream. And once I look down, you know, you're sleeping, and then I'm looking down to see what is coming out, because I can feel something is coming out. Mm. And I can see, I saw a snake. You saw a snake? A very big, yeah, not really long, but short snake, black and white. Coming out of you. Come out from my tummy. Praise God. So, I tried to lift up the blankets in the dream to say, this snake will bite us. Mm. So, when I lift up the blankets, that snake didn't even try to hide in the blankets. That snake just went all over and went down and went out from the door. And in the morning, I couldn't even wake up and I couldn't even go to work because I was still afraid. So I just you were still afraid? I kept on sleeping the whole day and <laughs> it was hard for me to call my husband and tell him what, what has happened to me. Mm -hmm. So later on at night, I said to him, you know why I didn't go to work? I, I dreamt something came inside my tummy. That was a snake. Mm -hmm. So I call, I call, I call the office, mm -hmm. and I told them. Mm -hmm. They said this is a powerful. The God, Lord loves you. Everything which devil has incited in your life, it's gone. Make sure you come to the church. And I said to my husband, I always say I will go to this ministry. But today we are going, even if we don't have money for petrol, Jesus will provide. Now, since that twist day, the, 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 the things which has been living in your stomach after giving birth to this twist never been in your stomach again. Amen. It's, you got fit on that day. Pardon? From that night, what happened to you? I wake up in the morning. The whole day, I kept on hitting my tummy, trying Hit. to feel if maybe that thing didn't come out. Mm. I kept on hitting my tummy, and I felt my tummy is really hard now. It's not soft like the way mm. it was. Mm. I can feel that there's a grip when I hit it, and there's no pain anymore. No pain? Because the pain was on top of the abdomen now. And no, no, no crawling? Nothing. I felt nothing. Gentlemen, come and tell me. What is your feeling as a father of twins? I believe for the past 10 years, you have never been happy to see the woman suffering. It's true, Bishop. Yeah, she, she had uh, constant stomach problems. And constant stomach problems. If this one happened when it's just on telephone, when I was here, what do you want to say to me? Actually, before she got the healing, she has been insisting that we come to the ministry. Mm. And we, we usually pick the phone and, and call for prayers over the phone. And they always extend the invitation that we should visit the uh, mm. ministry ourselves. Mm -hmm. Particularly myself, I spoke 
uh, four months ago, it was in November, I, I think, I spoke to Pastor Ido. Ido, Gabriel Ido. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he prayed for me and I got a breakthrough. I, I met him when we came in and I told him about it. So, back to her healing. She's happy now. She got the healing. So, we praise God and the God of Archbishop there. Now, you have been here. How did you find the service today? Did you participate and how do you feel about being here? I got a, a healing myself. When, mm. I, when I came here, I had a, a backside problem. I couldn't drive very well. It was causing me sharp pains and I was miserable when I got here. But while we were praying and then at the back there, there was sensation going over my body. And then when you called the sick people to come forward, you touched me. I fell down twice and then the pain was gone. Now, this is also your daughter. The, this is the firstborn, and this is the, the uh, I don't think they are Esau and Jacob. <laughs> I talk about twins today. What is your feeling? Your husband had a problem at the back. You are aware of that? I don't know how can I express myself because I've been longing and longing to come into this ministry. I say to my children today, the minute I step in that door, all my problems will be gone and all my family problems will be gone. The Lord will set me free and I, I believe I have received all I have been asking from God. Your husband also received his healing. And I'm very pleased to hear that my husband has received the healing, of which in the mornings he didn't even mention it to me, but I always see him holding his bag, and he didn't even tell me, but I, I saw that there's something wrong, wrong with for him. the past weeks. I kept on looking at him and saying, maybe he doesn't want to stress me, because he can see as well I'm always complaining about my tummy. He is a good man. Good men don't want to give problems. <laughs> Tell me how happy you are. Oh, very happy. Very happy. What about I you? I am happy. Tell me again. I am happy. What about you? I am as well. Praise God. May God bless you. God bless you. Yes. Um, Said the world was created within seven days The moon and the stars were all hung up in place He's the Alpha, Omega, the first and the last It's amazing what God can do Hallelujah Church Amen Yes, this our sister She said seven years ago she was at work mm. And something just gripped her, and suddenly she felt like she's feeling sick mm -hmm. at work. And from that moment onwards, she had pain all over her body. She felt that her knees were, her legs were like something is chaining her. Seven years ago. Seven years ago. And her hands, she couldn't stretch them at all. They were stiff. And for two years... She couldn't get up. She couldn't walk because from that day, for two years she couldn't walk. She had to walk with clutches for two years. Then after that, the pain has not left her in the arms, in the legs. She feels like somebody is tying her in a bandage. But tonight, when you touched her, mm. she says, the hand, this hand, when I say stretch your hand, she couldn't stretch those mm -hmm. fingers. Can you stretch it? She couldn't stretch them. Just can you put the camera? Yeah. She couldn't stretch them. This hand, she said, this hand is eased off, but that hand is slowly going off as well. Put this one like this. Oh. This one is not yet. No, this one is like um, when you have. 
Trump, like Trump. Yeah, and somebody tie. Put yeah. them on my ruler list. Pull them. Pull me. Pull me. Pull me far. Pull me hard. Pull hard. You put me down. You're so strong. Do like that. Quickly, quickly. Yes, check it, check it. Do what you could not do. Quick, 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 quick. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Huh? Huh? My legs. Um, Tell me this one. It's loose. Huh? It's open. It's loose. Yeah. Huh? Check it again. What do you want to say? It's loose, eh? Yeah. It's okay now. Sometimes I can't even get from my bed up. I have to ask people to do things for me. And I Did you know us? To my friend. To your friend? Yes. So this hand, this one, mm -hmm. was not well, and you touched me, and it's become well. What's next? My legs. What's wrong with your legs? Like, they are tied up. They are tied up? Yes, from here to under. With rope? Yes. Like somebody tied them with a bandage, and after when the bandage is in there, mm -hmm. it's like a half cramp. Okay, walk there at the corner and come back. <coughs> come back again. Go back again. Stand there. Bend your leg like this. Put it down. The other one, the other one. Again. Quicker. Like this. Say, thank you, Jesus. Say it again. Thank you, Jesus. Say it again. Thank you, Jesus. Say it louder. Thank you, Jesus. Again. Thank you, Jesus. When you are in the school, do you, were you sometime running? Do you know how to run? No. You don't, you don't know how to run? Yes, I know. I want to run there. Oh, to the corner. God. Run. Run. Only your mark get ready. Go. Run. Run quickly. Yes, that's it. Run. Run again. Again, quickly. Run back. Losing weight also too. Go on. That's it. That's it. Margaret, help her. That's it. That's it. You are receiving your healing now. Receive it. Now check your pain. Do what you're going to do. Do what you're going to do. You couldn't run like that. Because the children always huh? <laughs> make me wa want to chase them, and they tell me, always tell me, Auntie, I know you can't run. <laughs> so we can't, we could do whatever we want. But so now I could run, run again. Huh? You can run. So, yes. Run again. <laughs> <laughs> Take off. Huh? She's Take running on your mark. Can you run an Olympic game? Take off. On your mark. Go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Now she like running. What about the tightness? It's gone. Hmm? It's gone. No. Oh. What is gone? Check it. Gone? Check it properly. Baby's hiding. It's gone. Look at that. It's gone, eh? Yeah. yeah. It's gone. Check it. It is. <laughs> Check it again. It is. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. It's gone. She's surprised. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you, Lord. Now check your fingers now. They are fully open. Yeah. All they of them. Yeah, they are open. They are open. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Check your legs again. It's gone. Can you 
Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Mommy, are you happy that I'm happy. for seven years? Oh. Did this people this did, did this thing this thing stop you working? Yes. Because somebody wanted your job. Yes, it stopped me. Buddy. And today that spirit I'll be taking back to say. Nope.